Let's talk about the best foods to consume for reducing a fibroid. A fibroid is a tumor that's growing on the inside of the uterus, and they can sometimes grow on different parts of the uterus, but they could be the size of a pea to the size of a basketball. So the main thing you need to know is you want to avoid foods that cause growth. Uh, cheese is filled with hormones, and you definitely want to avoid cheese. And that is because milk helps a baby calf grow into a cow. So milk has all sorts of growth factors, and of course they make cheese out of milk. Now, soy is another plant that is very estrogenic. So you want to stay away from all versions of soy, and you want to stay away from anything that increases estrogen, and that includes flaxseed as well. Now, in addition to that, you want to avoid foods that trigger insulin because insulin is a very powerful growth hormone. And of course, you'd want to go low carb and low sugar. But here are the foods that have various phytonutrients that can help decrease inflammation, decrease fibrosis, and decrease angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood supply to a fibroid. So number one, berries. Number two, garlic. Three, cauliflower. Four, tomato. Five, onion. Six, broccoli sprouts. Seven, peppermint. You can do that in a tea or blend in with certain foods. Number eight, shallots, which are like these baby little onions. And then we have peanuts, which will give you some resveratrol, which can also be found in red wine. But the problem with that is the alcohol um, doesn't really help you shrink your fibroids. And lastly, fasting. Intermittent fasting and periodic prolonged fasting is probably one of the most powerful things you can do for fibroids. So if you combine that with healthy keto and make sure you have some of these foods right here, I think that would be a perfect plan. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below Check it out and get signed up today.